morning morning what's going on everyone justin again as always thanks for watching my channel welcome back it is a beautiful saturday getting ready to step into easter sunday i'm going on a mobile service call so this morning i'm going to be gone and taking out the starter and installing a reman starter into a 2005 ford f-250 turbo diesel that's right the six liter turbo diesel at any rate what a way to start my morning huh after that, we're gonna get right back onto our trailer project. So I'll show you the truck that I'm working on and the starter that I gotta change out, but I don't think this is gonna be so much a how-to because I think for the most part, everyone knows how to do this, but you never know. All right, so we're here at the ranch and here is our six liter starter install project. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and take both our ground terminals or negative terminals loose and off so we don't have any issues underneath because we're not welding right now <laughs> we don't want to start welding on this that's for the trailer all right let's see what we're looking at here let's see Ooh, those are gonna be maybe 10 huh okay could be 13. Let's see. Here's a, here's a 13. All right, so we're looking at a 13 there. Let's skip, and then the other one might be up top. All right, so you have three 13 millimeters, one right here at the base. You got one right here. And there's another one up top just on the other side of the solenoid 15 millimeter nut holding the b positive cable 10 millimeter nut holding the uh, ignition switch wire to the solenoid and that's it and then it just drops right on out so remove the cables tuck them down and hook them behind something as soon as you get these bolts just drop straight out should take you all maybe 10 minutes if you're doing it by hand tops all right easy peasy we're all done now off to the trailer project just a little tool shopping for the old rancher ruski here with the boss man picking some things out from the harbor of the freights got ourselves a little hercules flashlight action going on it's got some drill bits say hi rob hey this <laughs> is rob <laughs> spending money that's right without spending money Oh, having some fun now. We got a cart full. And we just keep adding to it. <laughs> Lovely Saturdays. Check out this bad boy right here. Look at that. Look at all the freaking spots that it's got to hold things. Hercules 20 inch tool tote. I've been rocking the little corner one. Look at this place for the tape measure. Just pockets for days. This slides out if you need it to. Comfortable strap. And to check this out, we just found these. Remember those Knipix Raptor pliers? Icon makes a set now. We're gonna talk about this a little bit later. All loaded up, ready to go. Um, it does look like your inside track members in the car. Did you want to renew that from yesterday? No. Do you need the bag? Yeah. What an adventure we have ourselves. Now we got to get it all loaded up. So many things, so many things from the Harbor Freights's. All right, so here is what we just got done buying from Harbor Freight. $1,000 tool haul. You're going to see it. We got the Bauer Heavy Duty Orbital Sander. Got the drill. Now, this just made perfect sense, really. We have some DeWalt batteries that we're kind of taking a dump. He already has a really cool, decent Bauer lineup already. Made sense. 50 bucks. Really can't beat it. Bungee cords, because he's working on boats and stuff, man. 
you guys haven't got a chance to see this, but we got boat projects for days. Boat projects for days. And right in here, let's go back to our tool hall for a minute. Got the Bauer cordless stapler. You guys know I love this light. Here's a Hercules light. Had to, of course, get the charger and battery to go with it. They did have compact battery, which I thought was pretty amazing. We're going to sift through here, see if we can find it. Hercules. Here we go. Check it out. Titanium hex drill bit set. Spade set. These are all good things, my man. All good things. Got some rivets. Got these wire strippers, impact drivers that go on the end of the gun, SAE sizes. Had to get some replacement rivets. Need rivets in the boat yard. All right, what else did we get for working in the hole in tight spaces? Some ratchet wrenches from the Pittsburgh, couple boxes of nitrile gloves. Some gooby gun, nice little two pound sludge chain we're gonna need that for the trailer project all right come back over here we got a step down so that's pretty cool some grease got a whole bunch of these bremen vice grips okay it's like our Irwin ones these ones are pretty good though pretty decent duty so we got some of those these adapters, they just absolutely come in handy for just about everything. Switching sockets back and forth. So we got a few packs of those. Some hardy gloves, got a couple pairs of that. Some grease over here. Light is our friend. Got this little brawn flashlight, this LED flashlight. Probably need to charge it up, but it's freaking cool looking, isn't it? A couple of box knives. Got some clamps. Gonna need these clamps for the trailer project too. We'll set those off to the side. Microfiber rags. Think that's gonna do it for this bag. This bag's got all the meat and potatoes in it right here though. Those Raptor pliers. I'll show you just how close in comparison those are to the Knipix ones that I have. But I dig it. Love the handle, love the style. Those are really good. Those are coming handy. All right, what else do we get here? It's for fencing, because yes, I've had to do a lot of fencing. You can see down here, got this whole stretch that I've been working on. We got some other cutters here from Doyle. Lineman pliers, nippers, couple pairs of nippers. Trailer wiring, gonna need that. So we'll set that off to the side. Let's see what else we got here. Extra blades, gonna need those. Little level, that comes in handy. These are really good to have on the fly. SAE and metric icon Allens with universal ball at the end. Those are going to be awesome. Tape measure because you always need to measure twice before you cut. Okay, so here's that 4 amp hour subcompact battery for the Hercules flashlight. That's going to be wickedly cool. We got extra blades. We're going to need those. I got a ton of them over at the house already, so that's fine. And then we got some 3 8 drive Pittsburgh sockets, but really the most common size that we use is the three quarter inch or 19 millimeters. So that's gonna pan out. All right, so that's our Harbor Freight tool haul. Not to mention that we have a tractor supply um, axle in the back that we gotta do a little fabrication work to. And we're gonna try to piece together another trailer after this other trailer project. We got a few trailer projects to do. Kind of take you guys along on the adventure with that. Let's go see Rob, and then we're going to get these tools put away because I got some grinding to do. There you can see Rob's already getting some measurements right now, getting some ideas going. <clears throat> yeah, we can use this actually. Cool. So we don't even have to cut these off. What we'll do is just add our shackle points. The wheels will be a little further off the rails than, than the one other one, but this is, uh, I just measured the single mono trailer. And uh, this is like three inches longer. So not a bad thing. Awesome. Yeah, so what we'll do, you don't have to cut these off. All we're gonna do is put this back on that trailer and mark our spots and you're just gonna add two more. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Clean it up, yep. add a couple of ones, just weld them in place. Yeah, and then we'll just get some uh, square U-bolts and we'll monitor the, frame, the, the uh, springs. Sweet. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Let's do that. Cool. All right, so we got an idea. We got some measurements for our second trailer build. 
Uh, we got to get some leaf springs, some shackles, uh, a couple other things too. But other than that, we pretty much got a better than good idea of what direction and we're going in with it. So I'm going to grab a bite to eat and then uh, we're heading back up to the house and I got a lot of grinding to do. And uh, we'll hook up this welder and see if we can't get this frame welded. All right, well, good times back at the house, back in front of this trailer restoration project. I wanted to show you guys a few things that we got to do to it, and then we're going to wrap it up because today's video was just kind of a day in the life of a uh, side job mechanic slash whatever. I don't even know. <laughs> if you guys want to know what I've been doing, these are the little projects I've been picking up along the way. Um, this is one of many to come, actually. We have another one that we're already measuring out like I previously talked about. It was kind of fun doing a tool haul video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the trailer real quick, and then uh, we'll go into more detail uh, next video. So here you go. All right, so you can see this thing needs a little bit of love, man. This is all rusted up, cut through. Some of the stuff's held on by clamps. Other stuff's held on by rope. Up here, and you can't see it right now. Ow! But right here, you can see where it's split. Nothing's welded. Everything's held on by rope. So the idea is to get all the stuff off of here, get all the spots like this grounded on, cut off, grounded down, go through, check it out. We'll pull this piece off. We'll get our measurements to do a center beam. And then I'm going to take this wood and we're going to deck it. And it's going to look really good, I think, when we're all done. So stick around for that project, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's tool haul video. See you guys next video. Deuces.